What's up everyone? I'm here with another DJ Tech tutorial and in this video I'm going to be talking about continuous playback and auto mixing and how to set that up. So for example, you finish your set or you want to take a break and you just want to let the music play. And there's two different ways depending on what you want to do. So let's first of all look at continuous playback. So if we head over to... What was that? <laughs> Anyways, getting over to preferences in uh, the controller tab, head over to deck. Make sure this is checked. Continuous playing, automatically load tracks in a list and have them play continuously one after the other. Make sure that's ticked. So what you'll notice is, okay, I'm just playing some music there. I'm going to scroll towards the end of the track, like so. Okay, let's just see what happens. Okay, looks like it skips to the next track, but it's not playing for some reason. Okay, here's how you fix that. Get back to preferences again. The culprit here is the auto cue. So what you're gonna have to do, depending if you have a, um, if you're doing this on one on one channel or you want it to happen on all two or four of your decks, um, be sure to disable. So I'm using a DDJ 400 here. If you're using an XDJ all-in-one controller, this should be an auto cue button just to, around where the screen is. Just press and hold. You'll turn that auto cue function off. This is exactly what auto cue does. When an auto cue is enabled, a cue point is set at the beginning of the track according to the auto cue level, which is obviously the threshold in which it was set. Uh, when a track's loaded, the track will pause at the beginning of the track. If you tick the checkbox, or playback starts at memory or hot cue nearest to the beginning of the track at the load section, load setting is prioritized. So if you wanna let um, that continuous play happen, you're gonna have to disable um, auto cue on whatever decks you're using. So what's gonna happen is it's only gonna, uh, it's only gonna continuously play on that particular channel in which you're playing it. So in this instance, if I'm just only using deck, uh, deck one, uh, uh, deck one for the uh, auto playback. I'm just gonna disable that particular deck and uh, let's try that again. So I'm just letting some music play. I'll wait towards the end and we should see that load up the next track and play, uh, play onwards, just like iTunes. There you go, glorified version of iTunes. Um, um, this, again, this is simple. It just rolls off a playlist um, or even your normal collection just goes from the top down, I believe in this order. So if I, for example, just sort it via um, key, let's just do that. I'm just gonna load up another track here. And okay, let's just see what happens here. Yes, I'm doing this on the fly. Okay, so it just goes from the top down, despite um, the order, despite um, the number that you're placing, it just goes to the top down. Now, obviously, you don't have much control on that whatsoever. So if you want that particular control, if you want to do some blends, but also if you're playing stream tracks via, um, sorry, if you're playing stream tracks via Tidal, or SoundCloud Go Plus, Beatport Link, any of those supported um, streaming services, it's probably not suitable because, um, so look, I've, I've, I've got a title subscription. So for example, I just put in a song here. What it's gonna do, so it's gonna load. So it's, it's gonna load. You've obviously got that pause and that awkward pause and we don't want any awkwardness, right? I'll show you, um, I'll, give you a, I'll give you an example. Okay, so let's just play this track. I'm gonna to go towards the end, like so. Wait for it, and here we're gonna load another track. Okay, it's playing the next track down, and it's loading, downloading it. Okay. Okay, probably not suitable for, well, definitely not suitable for stream tracks. And this is where the auto mix function comes in. So if you'll see here down at my, down at the bottom right, um, I'll just pick a different playlist here. Um, okay, we've got this auto mix list. 
Um, I've got some I've got some tracks, some lo-fi tracks here, just uh, just to play for example. Um, so what this does is it utilizes both tracks to seamlessly auto mix it in from deck to deck to deck, which is pretty cool. So if I hit, if I go back to preferences, I'm just gonna put this back to enable, and I don't even have to have this on. So continuous playing is a different thing from auto mixing. Just note that. So I'm just gonna untick that because I no longer need it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'll just I'll just put this track on here. So I've I've opened this up. Make sure this is on start or stop auto mix. So what it, what it's doing now is it's it's starting right away. Okay. What you also notice is um, this white bar. <laughs> this white bar here. So what I'll, I'll show you what it does. When when the needle hits that white bar, it cues in and it plays the um, the track on the second deck like so, as in like just fading it in. And you can see the crossfader also, it's fading it in accordingly. It's not doing it in time, obviously, it's not adjusting the tempo accordingly, but it just gives that smooth mix for uh, those times where you want to break from your set or you just want to let the music play, uh, for example. Okay, so again, uh, let's, let's try that again from deck two to deck one. So I'm just gonna skip straight here. And what you'll see is the needle hits, hits that uh, white area, boom. Okay, so uh, off starts the next track. And it goes on and on and on um, until, until the end. Now there's different ways in, um, in manipulating this. So, so obviously when, you, when you're loading your tracks, you just you know, select the next amount and you can just drag it over um, like so. Uh, there's, different, there's different settings here, so you can repeat the playback, you can uh, make, it a, make it a loop cycle. Random playback, you can play random, you can put um, the tracks in a random fashion. Double click to load on deck, auto mix playlist only. So if I tick, if I tick that, if I hit OK, if I just double click, if I double click that, it'd automatically load onto the track that's obviously not playing. Or onto the deck that's obviously not playing. Oh, okay. So what do we have here? So it looks like if you double click it, it just loads it straight away, as in blending it. So there you go. Um, and there's also an auto crossfade manual start. There's just different options. Start audio crossfade while loading a track to a standby track. Start auto crossfade when starting a track on a standby deck. Um, uh, and disable auto crossfade. Okay, so there's just different options there depending on what you want to do. You can also save the auto mix playlist, which is pretty cool. You've got something set, something you want to play. Uh, make sure uh, you can save that and you can also clear the auto mix playlist which is like that and click yes to clear it and uh, I don't want to do this auto mix stuff anymore so I'm just going to turn that off and turn that off okay so hopefully that's all helpful if you've got any further questions put it in the comments below and see you on the next one